All right, guys. Um, I'm here to do a review on the launch Diagon 4. Um, just got this, so um, I've hooked it up to like one other car. Uh, this thing is awesome, and I just want to show pretty much kind of an unboxing. Um, I've really already played with it, registered it, did all that stuff, so um, I just want to go over the boot up time from start to finish here. We're going to fire it up. Um, talk a little bit about it while it's booting up here. These connectors right here I think are about worthless. I'm not really sure why they put them in the kit. I don't think that this thing really is sufficient for anything 96 or older. But as far as anything else, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it for the price. This is about the best bang for the buck you can get for a scan tool. Um, I compared it to the MaxiCom, brand new MaxiCom Alto. And uh, I think that it's got just about every... Uh, uh, ability capability to do that the max cam does there is some slight differences oil reset stuff i did notice that you could go in and and do a manual reset obviously this is already up i'm gonna punch in my pin here kind of off screen and so now we're there we're gonna fire that up there watch how fast this boots up boom um this is quite a bit faster than the uh uh, MaxiCom to this point. Uh, the demo now is a little bit skewed. Uh, you're going to notice that the uh, <clears throat> when you get when you hook up to a little live car and you use your and this is obviously your dongle here and I just put this tether on there so I don't forget it in a car or whatnot and uh, attached it with a zip tie. Um, I think it's good to have a little something there, especially if you got other techs or whatnot going to use your machine. You don't want them to leave that dongle in there. Uh, we'll go through a full health report. Now, this is obviously going to be way faster. I noticed that generally on the car that I was hooking up to, which was an O2 Chevy Silverado, that the full scan health report was about the same as the Altel. There wasn't a whole lot of difference there. But you can see this already went through there and gave you all these fault codes on your PIDs. Um, we'll go through here, look at a data stream. This will select a page, and it selects the current page that you're on. And then you got this one. You can select this page, select this page, select them individually, um, and it'll pull up all of these at the same time. So let's select. Let's just go through and select all of these. It's whatever the current page you're viewing. It selects and vehicle speed. So we'll pull all of these up at once, and now it's going to give you eight pages, and you just scroll. And the, the data stream between these pages, it'll lag a little bit too when you're transferring over. So where it says this processing, it's going to be a little bit longer on live data on an actual car. Um, you can see it goes through here, page 6. Very nice um, display of your data stream. Um, I like that. And then it's even got a graphical uh, view. And uh, you can pull up this individually like this one click back like that your short-term fuel trim um, <clears throat> short-term fuel trim uh, starter mortar throttle position I mean this is really nice and then you can change it right back to value just like that and you know go through your last page here um, I, I, I'm impressed with this thing I paid 650 bucks for this. Um, I actually got it through the local car parts store, Advance. CarQuest is actually who I got through. I don't know, Advance, um, CarQuest are pretty much the same. But uh, <clears throat> it's pretty pretty uh, happy with it. It comes with all these connectors up here, and I'm not sure if any of these work yet or not. Um, but we'll get into that later if I find a, if I run across those where I need them. Um, the new Chrysler. Uh, one I know, that's Chrysler 6 I don't think that one's missing um, yeah I don't know where that went to that was in there um, <laughs> but uh, yeah the uh, new Chrysler one I didn't get that one I was kind of disappointed about that because that's like a hundred dollars for that new Chrysler one but uh, let's see here we got uh, Whoops, cancel, let's not do program. Um, throttle learn. Um, you can do injector ID writing. Let's 
test is now complete. Um, let's go into the ABS system, actuation test, um, ABS, front left tire, and you can monitor. Implement. <clears throat> Click on that. Implement. <clears throat> What's that say? Um, <clears throat> data stream. This thing is uh, definitely uh, pretty impressive. Um, special function. Um, air bleeding for your ABS brake bleed. Um, that's, I mean, most tools, it's about three, four hundred bucks for any of the tools that you get. So, to get all these other functions in there, <clears throat> be able to ABS brake bleed, which, you know, sometimes is handy when you're replacing all the brake lines on Chevys, <laughs> you know, um, stuff like that. That's pretty handy right there. Uh, like I said, 650 bucks. I mean, this thing is dynamite. I, I can't be happier with this thing for a backup scan tool um, for my MaxiCom. Brake pad change. Let's see here. What else did I go through here? Um, immobilizer. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's definitely nice to be able to do that. Um, let's see here. You go to system scan, uh, check your modules. Um, it tells you everything that's equipped on here. Um, this is dynamite. I mean, to go through it tells you all your modules that are that are involved or on the vehicle. Um, this demo mode is kind of cheesy. I apologize. Um, battery management system, steering angle. That's uh, definitely uh, something that will be useful. Steering angle reset. Um, BCM, actuation test, third brake lamp, um, left turn signal, brake lamp, low beam. Let's go into third brake lamp. That's that's nice. You're checking those. I don't know. We get a lot of those third brake lights. I don't. There people apparently are having problems with those low beam lamp, park lamp. That's awesome. Um, it's just impressive. I, 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 I haven't even gotten through all this thing yet, and I just can't believe for 650 bucks that launch, uh, has all these capabilities. Like I said, I've seen the, uh, um, power balance today with the IDS versus the IDS, and, uh, I, I was blown away. The IDS and the, in the, uh, power balance versus the launch, they look identical. So I'm not sure if launch will get in trouble for that or not, but, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> You can go to your system selection and s select your system right there. Um, you know, it's just, uh, this thing's got a lot of stuff going on here for as little as it is. Um, I, I mean, you got all your PIDs here you can pull up that are, pull up anything that we want to, long-term fuel trim. Let's look at the long-term fuel trim. Um... You know, it shows your numbers right along the side here and then down here in the bottom. Um, <clears throat> standard, negative 35. You can record this stuff, <clears throat> okay? 
and then you can also do a quick snapshot so and then you write this in data has been recorded save data now this will be here in your record so where your report is you go in you just go into your uh, save data my report the re record bring that back long term fuel and that so now you can do your playback I mean and then on top of that let's say you wanted to take a uh, frame playback you can do that the value now we can change that to graphical and let's say if we want to go back here and look at this and then we want to take a snapshot this button right here is an automatic snapshot so we can take a screenshot that takes a screenshot you can send that or attach it to your customers um, deal uh, bill or whatnot uh, this thing is just awesome I mean it's got a lot of capabilities uh, like I said I haven't played with it completely all the way through but it is it seems to be relatively fast um, you got all your it's got a two year comes with two years of updates um, for free um, then you can go to your software you can check that out and it'll tell you what your uh, updates are and you can update it via Wi-Fi um, let's see update version uh, da, 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 da. let's go to personal center switch uh, this, this will actually tell you where um, That tells your connector. That's the number of your dongle. <laughs> Profile. Um, let's see here. Where? No, we don't want that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of fishing around here. Sorry, guys. Subscription to the no car. Uh, to do to do maintenance help operation skills. Uh, you got stuff. To, all your manuals are downloaded on here too. I did notice that. Um, quick starts on here. The same exact stuff that's in the bag right here is on the the um, actual device. Um, it tells you when you got updates. These are ones I need to update. I don't. Some of these are by um, piggyback to like Nissan and stuff. I did notice that. Um, version. We have. No, where in the heck was that? Upgrade software. Oh, we got special functions here too. Then you can, you can go right into your special function area and you have your oil reset, SAS reset. This is your quick, quick, uh, to go into that stuff quick. Um, let's see here. Gear learn, DPF, regulate, TPMS, IMO. Oh, that's right. We can't do that. Yep. Because I'm not hooked up to the let's get back out of there get back in there where we need to be it... oops I disconnected from my Wi-Fi I'll come back on here in a second anyways two years of free updates 650 bucks Nice blow motor case. I know this video was a little bit choppy. I'm a little bit excited. Um, I think this is the best bang for the buck you can get on the market right now. Launch Diagon 4. Um, check it out, guys. You won't be disappointed. Um, any questions, comments, like, subscribe my channel. Uh, I've got more tool hauls coming in. I got stuff coming in all the time. Um, quite a bit of new equipment and whatnot. Um, so I'll be doing more tool reviews, stuff like that. But uh, 
this stuff uh this this is definitely awesome um i'm not going to really go over an alto maxicom i think there's a lot of information out there on youtube but the launch diagon 4 um i haven't seen a ton of stuff on there um there's a couple of places like cody zotto diagnostics pine hollow um those guys done some really good reviews on them too um but i'm i'm pretty sold on it it's a great tool i think if you're looking for something for personal for yourself and not the shop i think this is the way to go so thanks for watching guys please like comment subscribe if you found this useful let me know um i'm just trying to help out the auto mechanic uh that's what i'm looking to do here sorry if my video videography is a little bit shaky but uh you know and my <laughs> comments or my you know talking was a little bit choppy but uh, i'll try to clean it up work better in the future um, we'll get better at this as we go along uh, thanks a lot guys